Hi, my name is Andrew Feldman. I'm a program manager in the Azure Cosmos DB team. Today, I'm going to introduce Azure Cosmos DB Java SDK v4 for SQL API, which went to general availability in June 2020. And I'm going to share a few new feature offerings that are in this SDK. Now, if you're watching this, there's already a good chance you use Azure Cosmos DB. To get the new SDK right now, all the links you need are in the video description. You can visit the Azure Cosmos DB Java SDK v4 release notes page and install the minimum supported Java runtime, JDK 8. Then work through the quick start guide and finally read the SDK performance tips to optimize your application. I really recommend working through the quick start. It sets you up writing an application and downloading the Java SDK v4 jar from Maven, which is a great place to start. The Azure Cosmos DB service exposes several APIs, including MongoDB, Cassandra, Gremlin, and SQL, which is our core service API for which SLAs are defined. And a substantial investment has been made in SQL API SDKs tailored to your preferred client programming language. Now in June 2020, the Azure Cosmos DB SDK team released an improved version of the SDK for Java, which I'll discuss today. Java SDK v4 boasts a more intuitive API, more consistent API organization, and typing that is in line with other Azure service SDKs. Also, Java SDK v4 augments SQL query support to include queries with distinct clause. These queries can filter for only results with unique values of the field of interest. But perhaps most importantly, the performance of the Azure Cosmos DB applications will be greatly improved by architecture and tuning changes. Java SDK v4 improves direct mode SDK performance. Each client request includes a partition key value and it needs to be routed to the associated backend physical partition. Now, a dedicated gateway node can do this routing for the SDK. However, with two hops to the physical partition, latency will increase. So instead, we tell customers to use direct mode instead of gateway mode. This way, the SDK intelligently routes your request directly to the physical partition endpoint. And we see a much better round trip time. In fact, we verify the Azure Cosmos DB SLA in direct mode. Now in the past, Java SDK direct mode used HTTPS, but this is no longer true. Java SDK v4 gets a performance boost from TCP-based direct mode, and this comes from request multiplexing, in which the SDK will address the physical partitions concurrently, which is something not possible with HTTPS. A great improvement was achieved by rethinking how the SDK talks to the service backend. And going forward, Java SDK v4 bundles sync and async APIs into one SDK package. Both the APIs share a common protocol for database requests, so there is no concern that one or the other API is better supported. And know that async API is recommended for performance and efficiency. However, if you want the simplicity of a sync interface, or if you need it for your application, sync API is available as well. Now this year, Azure Cosmos DB debuted service improvements around pricing and functionality, and I want to touch on how the new Azure Cosmos DB Java SDK connects to these stories. Autoscale provision throughput was announced at build, and with Java SDK v4, your Azure Cosmos DB Java client can fully customize the container or database provision throughput, including setting the min and max RU per second range for autoscale programmatically. We think customers will appreciate a pricing model that reflects actual throughput utilization and helps to save costs. Now, in public preview, Azure Cosmos DB Analytical Store is part of the broader Azure Synapse Analytics story that debuted at build 2020. Java SDK v4 helps you to construct a tiered data scenario by programmatically configuring the persistence time for data in the transactional and analytical stores. And this is accomplished using the TTL fields which the SDK exposes. For support upgrading to Java SDK v4 from a previous version, take a look in the video description where we have a ton of great resources including code samples, end-to-end -end application samples, a migration guide for previous version users, and support for learning async programming with Project Reactor Framework. Azure Cosmos DB Java SDK v4 is the result of substantial development effort and attention to customer feedback. We've really improved the SDK experience measurably to where we can benchmark improved latency as well as throughput improvements of 20% or more, which should be important to anyone developing a performant Azure Cosmos DB Java client. Azure Cosmos DB team is passionate about enhancing the Java developer experience in the future, and so there's more in store for Java SDK v4. So keep an eye out for minor release improvements, including built-in transactional batch, bulk APIs, and more. 
Until then, thanks for watching and happy coding.